There are infinite paths to success. There are so many ways to get to where you want to go. And we've got to start listening to our gut instead of our logic, instead of our mind, and instead of other so-called experts telling us this is the way to get to where you want to be because it's not working. Welcome to the Introverted Influencer Podcast. I'm your host, Erica Van Slyke. My soul's mission on this planet is to help fellow introverts grow their online influence in a state of feminine flow and ease. While battling the woes of depression, anxiety, and even mom guilt, I've somehow managed to build a six-figure blog without the use of social media and without sacrificing my mental health. If I can do it, you can too. Hello, sunshine. I hope you are doing well, despite all these crazy ass changes, whether it's in the world of your digital business, or it's perhaps with your interactions with people that you used to seem to agree with and and see eye to eye on things. And it's like everything is shifting, perhaps diets or workout routines that you were doing that you've done for years, it's like things are not clicking into place anymore. Things are changing and that can be scary, but it's also really, really exciting because if you are a spiritual seeker like me, you know that that is a major sign that the energy on our planet is shifting. And we are seeing signs of the age of Aquarius. We are shifting out of Piscean age where it was very masculine, very logical. We don't have wisdom within ourselves. We have to seek it through others, whether that be through politicians, through religious leaders, through gurus, through experts. In the age of Aquarius, we are being asked to step into our inner knowing and our inner sovereignty. And What used to work maybe even just five years ago, it doesn't fucking work anymore. And so that's what I want to chat about today because I'm seeing this in real time. (laughs) Not only in my personal interactions, I've been seeing that for quite some time, but it's just now starting to sink in in terms of this blogging industry, which I've been in for almost 10 years. And I am seeing in real time experience, like shit is not working that used to for years. So here's the thing. There are infinite paths to success. There are so many ways to get to where you want to go. And we've got to start listening to our gut instead of our logic, instead of our mind, and instead of other so-called experts telling us this is the way to get to where you want to be because it's not working. And I lost myself. I lost myself. And that might have been part of the reason why, I mean, in addition to me just getting really overwhelmed, juggling my life and the changes in my life, there was a change in the way I felt about my business. And that's because I abandoned my intuition and my gut. And I did what logic and experts would have me to do. And I'm referring to maybe 17 months ago when I was looking for a way to reclaim my business and build back up that this huge amount of traffic that I had lost from a Pinterest algorithm update in 2022. And I was seeking wisdom outside of myself. And I had gotten just down this rabbit hole of business, business podcast episodes and SEO podcasts and you name it. And anyhow, I found myself taking an approach that in my gut did not resonate with me. And that's a big no, no, because I'm a generator in human design. That's another rabbit hole. I've found myself going down as human design. You should look it up. It's, Oh, I don't know. It resonates so much with me, but as a generator, my energy type is I have to go with my gut and it's either a hell yes, or it's a hell no. And the certain strategy that all the experts were saying to follow Well, out of kind of desperation and fear, because like, you know, shit was real. I lost almost half of my business and I was about to lose my house if I didn't do something right. So 
I took this approach that all the experts had endorsed. And while in my gut, I knew it wasn't a hell yes, my mind said, let's do this. And my ego said, we got to do something like, let's just do it. And I could feel myself losing passion for my craft and for my blog. However, the numbers were starting to turn around. And this new strategy, it, wow, it almost quadrupled my traffic. And so then I kind of got stuck in this gamation almost of what my business was. And I wasn't tapping into that raw kundalini artistic expression, it was more, it had become this game. And I, I felt this like cognitive dissonance about it all. And I told myself, okay, we'll stop doing this approach. As soon as you recover by whatever amount of um, page views a day, like as soon as you get to this amount and your income is this, then we can shift our strategy back to like, seriously, just going with the flow and, and letting creativity lead. But I got stuck in my comfort zone and it was working (laughs) until it wasn't. And the algorithm updates, the Google algorithm updates of March pretty much was a sign to me that I've got to disregard the algorithms and I've got to get back to my true essence. And basically what happened Every single blog post and article that I had approached from this certain very masculine robotic way of of approaching my subject matter, all of those articles basically lost their rankings. (laughs) And I was left with what I had, which was Pinterest. And I'm so glad I did not give up on Pinterest because Pinterest, my Pinterest has grown pretty significantly this year. Um, so far it's grown about 30%. So thank God for that. But also I think with AI, we are all being called to show our humanity. And so manipulating algorithms is not going to work anymore. It's not because this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. And we've got to distinguish ourselves from robots. And so I, I could have save myself a lot of time and drudgery (laughs) if I would have initially just listened to my gut because my gut was right. It was like, nope, just keep up, keep showing up as your human self and follow your own inner knowing instead of doing what's the cool thing to do right now in the industry. And so (laughs) a download I'm getting right now And this probably sounds irresponsible, especially since I rely on my income to put food on the table, but the download I'm getting through all of this fuss with Google and AI is, uh, well, I'll just read what I journaled out. It says, you have permission now to blow it all up and just do what feels good to you again. Being lit up is the new priority. Being lit the F up is the new priority. Yeah. And we've got to learn to trust ourselves more with that. I know that sounds so crazy and it sounds so irresponsible. And this isn't to say that showing up consistently is not still going to be kind of uh, boring some days. If you're committed to anything, it's not, you're not always going to feel lit up about it. So, so just keep that in mind. That's not what I'm saying. It's not like you can just be completely like elated every day because there is consistency and there's some self-discipline involved. But what I am saying is that if there's an expert, I don't care if it's a, a guru, a politician, some business expert telling you to do something like you have to do it this way. This way is the only way. And if you do it another way, you're wrong. That is a red flag. Okay. We've got to start having discernment and it's not discernment of our like logic. Does it resonate with our brains and our logic? 
it's this getting in touch with, and it's, it's going to be some work for us. So many of us who have just learned to totally shut off our gut, but we, in our, in our hearts, but we've really got to ask ourselves before we commit to something, is this true for me? Is there some sort of light bulb going off or something clicking like a, ah, or an aha moment? And if it's, if it doesn't get your gears going, if you don't feel some sort of pull towards it, then it's probably not for you. And that's okay. And this is just, I want this to be a reminder for all of us out there that just because you see so many people having success from one certain approach or modality doesn't mean that it's going to be right for you. And that's okay. It's up to you to form your own path. And when I think why I was able to have so much success in my blog so fast is because in the early days, there was no pressure to make money. I did it just for the love of it. And so I wasn't even aware of how other people were approaching their blogs or approaching their business. I wasn't observing, you know, oh, this person, they, they post like five times a week, their word counts this long, da, 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 da. No, I honest to God did what I wanted. I did what I felt called to. It was this very intuitive, flowy knowing. And it got me to <laughs> great heights that I never could have imagined. It got me published in magazines. I got to earn a full-time living, like working maybe 12 hours a week. And that's the magic that happens. And in all the fear of what's happened over the past few years, I've lost that. And if you feel like you've lost it as well, it's, it's normal. It's human. It's the human experience. But I want you to remember who you are. We are not designed to feed an algorithm. We're not designed to mindlessly follow some guru. We are too magical for that. And we've got to remind ourselves of that every day. And then I think what's going to get us through the fear, because it feels so crazy to just go with your gut in this world that we live in, because we're taught just the opposite. We've got to really ground into our faith and our knowing that there are unseen forces working with us but we block them off when we choose some narrow lane that was never, ever, ever intended for us. So here's your permission right now. If you've caught yourself following what everybody else is doing and you're miserable and you just can't, it's like you're, it's like pulling teeth to sit down and do your craft or, or serve your clients or whatever that may be. You can try it another way. Okay. And maybe you don't want to be as extreme as I am and literally say F Google, like I'm just going to do what I want to again, but maybe you can just make smaller tweaks and see how you respond to that and see how your reality responds to those smaller tweaks. Like how can we make it a little more manageable, a little more enjoyable? And let's think about that, not only in our businesses, but just in our daily routines. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up today and let's just, let's try to bear with one another because what I'm seeing too, in a lot of the Facebook groups for my industry is just this, you can tell it's some vitriol going on. There are some bad vibes. Everybody's judging everybody for how they're choosing to navigate their way through the, all these changes. And I think we're all just doing our best and we all have to do we all have to tap into what we are personally being called to do. So that's enough for today. And I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. I make no money from the show. Actually, it costs me money to produce and host. So the best way you can show your support for this passion project of mine is by leaving the show a five-star rent review on Apple 
Also, if you would like to contribute monetarily to the show, you can leave a tip in my digital tip jar, which I have the link in the show notes. You can always share it with a friend who you think could benefit from the message or even better. You can take a screenshot of this episode, upload it to your Insta stories and tag me in it at Designing Vibes. Sending you my love.